Okay, welcome you guys. I am so excited to be back here with uh, Dr. Shane Smith, um, our chiropractor from Reno, Nevada. We have a new year going on and um, I think everybody is wanting this transition to better health and better ways that they can optimize their body going into this new year. We all had a crazy 2020 and I think it shifted yeah. everybody's focus um, and mindset on things. Um, so Dr. Shane and I are here. We are going to give you some, just some tips and some ideas on how you can think about your health um, and resetting your health on that cellular level, like we had talked about um, before. And I have been doing something pretty incredible with a group of people going into 2021. Uh, we really wanted to get back to the foundations of our health, um, the, the basics. How can we reset our body without setting crazy, ridiculous goals or New Year's resolutions that we just don't keep um, without going into a crazy fad diet or crazy workout routines. There's so many things that we can do on our own that are almost baby steps to get our health um, back, to, back to the basics. So I've been doing a 90-day transformation and it's just been taking slow little steps each day, mindful steps, um, just with that intention behind it. So, you know, increasing my water intake, um, going to bed a little bit earlier, making sure I get enough sleep, adding lemon to my water to help with that natural mm -hmm. detox. And um, I'm really excited that um, Dr. Shane is going to talk to you guys today a little bit more about how we can appreciate our bodies how that they really can function at their optimum level. That is what we are designed to do. Um, so we're gonna have a little bit of conversation back and forth with each other. And I just am excited for Dr. Shane's wealth of knowledge to just shine on this topic. So thank you so much, Dr. Shane, for you know just sitting down with me and, and talking. Um, I appreciate you so much. Uh, when we look at this topic, what um, and why does food or diet matter so much to our bodies and how it functions? Yeah, thanks, Jenny. So, <clears throat> first off, awesome idea that the reset again back to the basics of health. Uh, really appreciating your body's designed to be healthy, and we want to give the resources that it needs to experience that optimal function because ultimately that's what we deserve. We deserve to have a body that's functioning at its optimal. And when we put in the right environments, that's truly when it gets to express health. And one of the most important things we can do is feed it the proper foods. Um, lots of times when we spoke on in previous conversations that stress has a huge impact on our bodies and there's different types of stressors. There's physical stress, mental stress, chemical stress. And chemical stress is where I put that umbrella of food and the chemicals one we're exposed to, but what are we putting into our body? Are we allowing our body to be stressed? by our diet. And that's a different way of thinking about it. It's like, okay, food tastes good, it makes me feel good, it's got this cultural connection. But ultimately, are you stressing your system with these foods? And then adding to that, if we wanna optimize our health, it's important that we move right, that we think right, and that we eat right. So we can get in all those different aspects of movement and mental health, but focusing on diet, are we eating the right foods? Are we fueling our body with the basic nutrients and needs, the minerals, the vitamins? Uh, the phytochemicals, the antioxidants, the array of things that we know help our body to express health on the inside out. So there's that baseline. Are we putting harmful chemicals in our body that are stressful? Or are we feeding our body healthy foods that can energize us and fuel us and give us the resources to recuperate and express health from the inside out? For me, I became really passionate about this idea of nutrition um, when I first started taking care of my body. And I was about 10 years back, when I was in my undergrad and started going to the gym, um, started running a little more, and eating a little better, and I felt really great. And the more I looked into health and wellness, I was like, wow, I can help other people feel great, help other people feel healthy in their body, and I realized 
people were destroying their health with their diets. Diets were just impacting our country from so many different angles, from obesity, diabetes, cancer, lots of things, like scary things that can be preventable. And so many of them went right, right back into diet. Um, and it was just like, it was super eye-opening for me. It totally shifted how I looked at food and how it fueled my body. And then from there, I wanted to better understand, okay, what is diet doing to our system? And it starts to get complex and we can dig into our future visits, our future um, conversations, but our hormones play a big key in how we feel in our body, the way we look at our body, and the way our body's functioning. Hormones are super important. I just spoke about diabetes and one of them, insulin. When insulin gets out of control, it affects so many systems within the body. Um, cortisol. When cortisol is up and we're stressed out, also it's going to affect many systems within the body. So these hormones become super powerful and they can be directly impacted by our diet. So speaking to the, the big picture, disease and illness, we want to get control of our health. What can we focus in on today to start to hone in? Um, and quick steps to get that, those hormones under control. We're speaking of food. We want to eat high quality food. We want to be careful of the quantity of food that we're eating and also the rhythm. When are we eating? Are we fueling our bodies because it's dinner time or because we're hungry and we need nutrition? So a couple of ways of just shifting the way we look at food. I understand it's got a huge cultural connection. It's got a family connection. We eat certain foods that we grew up eating that feel good. Um, but just reminding ourselves, is this, is this food stressing us or is this food helping my body facilitate health the way it's designed to? Yeah, absolutely. I love that you talked a little bit about, you know, food and nutrition and then how it manifests inside of our body, you know, and, and what it's really doing as far as presenting itself in some of those different elements and diseases. Um, I actually suffer from an autoimmune disease. I have ulcerative colitis. I've had it since I was 16 years old. And so I know exactly what you're talking about when, um, when you say food is linked and directed to that. And um, it was probably about 10 or 12 years ago when I made that connection of, if I want my body to feel better, I need to know that what I'm putting in it is fueling my body not feeding that autoimmune disease. And it's huge. It, pay, it plays a huge role in just the way that your body, number one, feels, but also how it functions as well. Um, you know, taking out some of those foods that are inflammatory um, can just help eliminate so many things inside of your body. So I love, you know, that you talked about, you know, making sure that what you're, you're putting in your body is the, the right foods at the right time. Um, and for the right, the right reasons as well. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what is kind of one of the first steps or the actions that we can take when, when doing that? Because a lot of people, this is, I mean, it can be overwhelming and um, you can think like going to the grocery store, there's such an array of food. Um, are, are, do you have some steps? Do you have some tips that you can give our viewers um, that what they can do little baby steps along the way so it doesn't feel so overwhelming in the very beginning? Yeah. Um, baseline would be that first idea of just one, appreciate your body and the way it's been designed, designed to create health from the inside out and how long, thinking back to our ancestors, how long have they been eating and fueling their bodies to get us this far um, to where we are today in our society. And then that next step is look back and look at our modern society. Our modern society is unnaturally stressful and unfortunately our food has become, fortunately and unfortunately, our food is so convenient so convenient like you said you go to the grocery store you find thousands of items it was not like that for our ancestors they they forged and they fed forging forced them to move we were designed to move like i said it's important for our body but they forged they found vegetables they found berries they found nuts they found seeds occasionally they got meat that was lean meat natural meat if you will um and they drink water those are some of the baseline things like this is how our body, our DNA, our genome is designed to be fed. Um, 
fuel. I love how you said that. It's not just eating, but fueling our body so it can express that health. So starting today, something you can just like action step. Again, are you fueling your body or are you stressing your body? So let's highlight some of the things that we should not be doing. One, we should not be drinking our calories. If I can implore you to make one big shift right now, it would be to stop drinking the calories. And that would come in soda, juices, and alcohol. Those are our prime calorie sources. So if you can make a shift, that would be huge. Um, next one would be avoiding sugar. Sugar, the white stuff, the refined sugar, high fructose corn syrup. Big shift in our health and our society. And when high fructose corn syrup was introduced, pay attention to the labels and do everything you can to avoid that getting into your body. Um, don't eat too much fruit. I think that's a tricky one. And it's easy to eat a lot of fruit that tastes good, it's delicious, and in our brain that's saying this is healthy. Um, it's sugar, it adds up. Just be really careful of how much fruit you're eating. So baseline, those are some, some don'ts. Some avoid these things. Don't drink your calories. Avoid white sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and don't eat too much fruit. And if we could shift that to the do's, things we should do. Eat as many vegetables as you want. There are so many vegetables out there. Go, go try something new. Eat some that you're familiar with and give an array of colors into your diet. You can eat as many vegetables as you want. Uh, that's been the rule forever. <laughs> <laughs> and next would be to eat lean meats, eat lean natural meats. You want a, a good protein source and, and something that's not been inundated with antibiotics and, uh, and different hormones. This has a big impact on our body when we're eating um, unclean meat. Um, one of my favorite protein sources is a free range egg. So I eat lots of eggs and I make sure that on a free range of that chicken is getting packed with nutrients prior to the development of that egg. So that's one of my favorite proteins. Um, and drink plenty of water. Like you were saying, you really, in, that was the first thing I think you said is just increasing your water intake. Our body needs to be hydrated. Every cell in our body is dependent on that hydration. So if those cells can be nice and plump and have the receptor sites, it is so essential to be hydrated properly. And a majority of people, I'm guilty of it too. I need to be reminded of it. Uh, my wife and I work together as like partner, like, did you drink enough water today? And usually the answer is like, probably not. Um, drink more water. It's such a powerful, easy do. Keep a water bottle near you, clean, filtered water. Um, again, be intentional of how you're drinking water, but make sure you're staying hydrated. And um, something I was sharing with Jenny was the idea of how this battle of food can be won. It happens at the checkout line. So... Um, if there's Ben and Jerry's in my freezer, Ben and Jerry's is going to be taken care of, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, make this decision prior to going to the grocery store and the battle's going to be won at that checkout line. Buy yourself those healthy foods. Avoid the things that you know are stressful on your body and start to feel that shift in your body. Start feeling better, looking better, and optimally functioning better. And that's going to be a huge key to this initial reset and that powerful shift in your diet and your overall health. Yeah, absolutely. There's um, a, a thing that I like to do. I go to the grocery store with a list. Um, so I know ahead of time what I'm going to purchase. Um, and I'm kind of one of those people that I've got to check it off as I go. Um, yeah. <laughs> but taking a list helps so that you're only purchasing those foods that that you need that are going to, you know, feed and fuel your body in, in the right way. And then sticking to that list. Cause it's easy to grab those extra things. Um, but also what I like to do is I'll shop the perimeter of the grocery store because that's usually where, you know, those natural whole foods are the inside mm -hmm. of the grocery store is when, where those processed foods are. So fill your cart up with the outside, the perimeter of the store first, and then you'll be less tempted to go in and grab that Ben and Jerry's ice cream, you know, in, right in the middle. That's like in the heart of the grocery yeah. store. And they, I, they, I think they put it there really for a specific reason. It draws you <laughs> to it. Um, but yeah, I love that. And yeah, and drinking more water, I think, I think the majority of Americans, of people, we're dehydrated. We, we oh, yeah. are dehydrated and even just adding eight to 16 ounces more of what you're currently drinking 
a day, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to carry around the like milk jug, you know, that, <laughs> that you, you see sometimes. But um, I do agree. Carrying a water bottle with you, I take one in my car with me, you know, if I'm running errands. Um, because then it's there instead of the temptation of driving through somewhere to get something to drink. Um, yeah. And most of those places, those drinks are full of sugar. Um, and that is, that's dehydrating our body, um, you know, on top of the lack of amount of water that we're drinking um, as well. So just those baby steps, I think, um, if you make the shift to focus on small things, um, to get to the, the bigger, you'll have better success. Do you think, yeah, do you feel the exactly. same way? Yeah, totally. In the beginning steps, it's, it's not easy to create that change, but it creates and builds up a moment, momentum. So simple, tangible steps right now, avoid a couple of foods, eat a few more foods, drink plenty of water. And when our body starts feeling better, it wants to do more healthy activities. That's been my experience. That's something I've experienced with other patients. When they start feeling better, they start adding in the other healthy behaviors. Just don't overwhelm yourself all at one time. It is that, that baby step. It's, it's building up the momentum and it feels good to feel good. And, it, and it's such a powerful spot where we can start with our diet and fueling our bodies properly. Absolutely. Well, I know we're going to continue this conversation. There's so much to build on. Um, and so I look forward to the weeks to come that we can just expand on this topic. We can talk about energy. And yeah, when you feel better, you're going to move more. Um, and we're going to talk more about optimum health and all kinds of good things. How our bodies are incredible, amazing machines, really, um, and how we can optimize that. So. If there's anything else you want to add, otherwise we'll end the call for today and we'll just touch base again um, next week. Yeah, no, this was great. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you soon.